What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with Aviation News this week, episode 68. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we're going to get started right here today with the highlight news of the week, and that is that South African Airways and the subsidiary Mango have ceased operations. It's currently because the airline has run out of money, and there is currently discussions and debates going on inside the chambers at uh, the government organizations in South Africa to see what to do about it but currently South African is not operating and that includes their subsidiary here Mango and I really like Mango because I really like delivery and I think they got cool branding and such however it doesn't appear as if South African will survive I've been trying to say this for over a year the South African Airways is not going to survive they will eventually fall crash stall burn whatever you want to say but the airline will not survive, unfortunately. Even though I want them to, they're probably not going to. So, that is the reality. South African Airways is probably done, unfortunately. And so, yeah, they're gone. Speaking of interesting things that have happened, I recently went to a Donald Trump rally. So, I went to a Donald Trump rally here in Des Moines on Wednesday the 14th. And it was a really, really good show. I really enjoyed it. And um, I got a picture here, this right here of the show. I was up pretty close, relatively close. There's about 20,000 people there and got to see Air Force One coming in. And obviously, as this is not a political show, I'm not going to go into the politics of it, but I'm just kind of interested in showing you guys the aircraft that came in. Donald Trump used an aircraft registers 82-8000. So it is one of two Air Force One specified aircraft that are specifically for the President of the United States. Now there are a couple of other aircraft. Any aircraft that is a United States Air Force aircraft can be used as Air Force One. However, there are two VC-25As. This is one of them and then there's another one, 82-9000, which are specified for the President of the United States. And so I have some pictures here from some spotters who spotted the aircraft coming in. They weren't interested in the event, which is fine, and they just came in to see the aircraft. So. Here's one by Aviation DSM. It's a nice picture, so thank you for submitting that one. And then we have a nice one here by Des Moines Plane Spotting. This is a cool picture as it's coming over the terminal, coming into land. And then I want to highlight you guys the best picture, saving it for last. This one is here by Ome Aviation on Instagram. It's an outstanding picture here. It's got really nice detail. It is got some nice motion to it. It is also very well balanced in the way how he has changed the contrasting, the highlights and such to make the aircraft very clear. You can see everything on it. It's a really nice picture here, so I want to thank you for submitting it. This will probably end up being the cover photo for this week's episode. And yeah, it's a really cool aircraft. It's super awesome to see the aircraft taxi right in. I got to also see it depart too. But obviously because I was at the event, they don't allow large DSLR cameras, so I could not bring that there. But I want to thank you local spotters and even the Omaha spot for coming into town and photographing the aircraft. It's really cool to see Air Force One. The next time the president does fly into my local airport, I will go and uh, catch this aircraft and try to get some nice pictures for y'all. But it was really cool to see this aircraft come in. I want to thank you local spots for catching them. I did actually go to DSM Airport on Sunday, which is the day before I'm recording this. I'm actually recording this on Monday. While we're currently snowing, yes, it's currently snowing outside. We got about an inch of snow so far, or thereabouts. Probably going to get a little bit more. And uh, when I went to DSM Airport on Sunday, it just snowed on Saturday night. We got about three quarters to a quarter of an inch of snow. If around DSM, it was more like half an inch of snow. It wasn't that much. But it was really interesting to see. And I went there to see a couple of interesting aircraft. I don't have those pictures processed yet. But I'll show them to you when I do, probably on next week's episode. So, moving on to fleet news. Got a bunch of interesting news here. Delta has announced some aircraft retirements. So they have announced the retirement plans for the 717 and 767 CRJ-200. The 767s will be retired by 2025, as well as the Boeing 717-200s. So most of the 717-200s will be returned to Boeing as most of them are actually leased from Boeing directly. As the 767s, most of those will actually go straight into the Boeing yards. The 
CRJ 200s thankfully are being gotten rid of. Those are possibly the worst aircraft on the face of the planet. They are garbage, horrible. They are not fun to fly on. And Delta is going to terminate the contracts with the airlines that operate them, at least for the CRJ 200s. They'll continue to operate some of the other aircraft, for example, SkyWest. They're terminating their CRJ 200 SkyWest contract. They're not going to resume it. Some of the contracts have already expired, such as the AS registered aircraft, and those are going to United, so not all of them will go directly to the Boneyards, some of them will continue to have service with airlines like United, however, most of them probably will go directly to the Junkyard. And next up we have an article here from One Mile at a Time. Uh, this is about the first Singapore Airlines Boeing 737-800. I'll have this article linked below so you can see it. This is a really interesting aircraft because this will be all in a fast and business class cabin. Here you can see what the Fly Dubai business class looks like. It'll be a really interesting aircraft to see what they do. So anyway, if you want, link below to this article. Uh, it appears that Singapore is currently, I believe, on a temporary lease for these aircraft while they wait for the 737 Maxis to return to service, which, by the way, we're actually pretty close on that. I'm probably going to do something about that, a um, like article or something about that next week. Next up, we have a really cool aircraft here by DHL. Um, this aircraft picture was on the 21st, but they had this special sticker applied on the 11th of September. And that is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month that DHL is doing. This aircraft is registered as Golf Delta. Hotel Kilo Kilo. You can see the little symbol there up front, and they're painting several of these aircraft with that symbol. And it's just basically a uh, awareness month for that type of cancer. So I just wanted you guys to know about that. I think it's really cool that DHL doing that. So I wanted to point that out here. Next up, we have this really awesome livery on this T5 and for the Taiwanese Air Force. And this is in a special prototype paint scheme for this Air Force as they are currently getting some new T5s. This looks really cool. The aircraft registered as 11001 and this was taken on October the 6th. Next up we have Titan Airways getting the very first A321-251 NX. This one's registered as Delta-Alpha Zulu Alpha Tango as the test registration and will be delivered as Golf X-ray Alpha Tango Whiskey. I really like how Titan always has this all black livery. It's really cool. It's kind of like they're like a, a private jet. It looks super awesome. So this will be a cool aircraft to start spotting for all you British spotters. Next up, we have a new special livery for Lux Air. This appears to be live life um, like it's the weekend. Something like that kind of special livery. I don't know what this is for. Again, I'm not familiar with the local culture around there. But the registration of this aircraft is LX-LQA. Or Lima X ray dash Lima Quebec Alpha. And then finally, we have something different. This is not something that I expected until I saw this picture on Jet Photo. I was like, this is different. So, this is a former Qatar Airways A330 243F. It's a cargo variant. This aircraft was formerly registered as Alpha 7 Alpha Foxtrot Foxtrot. This aircraft has since been acquired by. Wiz Air, yes, the famous budget carrier with the purple and white paint scheme, now has an A330-200 cargo, which is as Hotel Alpha Das Lima Hotel Uniform. I don't exactly know what they're doing with an A330 cargo. I mean, this is like the biggest aircraft they've ever had in their whole fleet. I presume they're doing some sort of cargo operations, but I don't know what for or why. I just thought this was really interesting they did, that they had just gotten this. They acquired this aircraft on the 18th of October 2020. So, just a day ago from when I'm recording this, and hopefully this video goes up Monday night. If not, it'll go up early Tuesday. But, um, it's really interesting that, uh, they are getting this aircraft. I'll probably end up covering it again in a future episode, because I'm really interested to see what Wizz does with this aircraft. So, with that being said, that's it for the news for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.